What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 54 of the Rise to Glory here at Gibraltar Apex and today we are going to be taking on Maccabi Tel Aviv in the third qualifying phase of the Champions League here in our eighth season in Gibraltar. I can't believe it's at eight seasons already. This is a big game for us. It's going to be a big challenge but I'm hoping we can put in a good performance today. We're going to be doing of course both the home and away legs. Hopefully we can cause the Israeli kind of giants a little bit of an upset here. In terms of the team for today's game and in terms of the transfer news, good news I guess is the fact that actually at the moment uh, we've not lost Putnam. He has not left the club yet. He's still negotiating with Swindon Town a £400,000 move. Uh, a little bit sad to see him go but he is here for today's game. He got a goal on uh, the game last time out which will probably still be his last ever home game. But uh, maybe he can offer something for us today. In terms of the rest of the team, fairly standard stuff going on. We're going to go with Romero, the American goalkeeper, in goal. The 19-year-old had a really good year last year, developed quite a lot. Hopefully he can do more of the same this year. Left back we have Marriott. Right back we have Evans. And, well, there's a common theme emerging here. And it's that we have a bit of an American defence. Danny Evans here, one of our uh, many defenders who are American. We've also got Medina. Again, American. Great physicals, this guy. Good leadership. Fairly good pace, you know, he's a quite good physically, perhaps not the best when it comes to his mentals and his actual defending, uh, but he's quite a nice player to have covering up mistakes. Alongside him we have Malloy, the, um, uh, or Malloy, uh, the South African centre-back. Good player, again, he kind of makes up for the, I guess, the weaknesses that we have because he's so good defensively and he's not too bad mentally either, that defender. In left mid we have Smith, Paul Smith had a great debut last time out in our home game, uh, we won... Was it 6-0 on the night? He got four assists and in the goal. Hopefully he can have a good performance today. Borge, uh, Borge George, not Borge, uh, Putman, going to be playing right mid for us today. Hopefully he can have a good performance. And then in the midfield we go with Kundai Beniju. Or Penny Yu, Benny Yu. Why do I... I can never say Kundai's name properly. Maybe I should just call him Kundai. Maybe that would solve all my problems. Anyway, alongside him, we've got Joe Bouchard for this game. Unfortunately... Gary out with a longish term injury, not match fit for today's game, don't want to chance him, so Bouchard gets the nod ahead. And then up front we go with our two kind of fairly ferocious strikers, if last game's anything to go off. Sean Jackson here, the young American kind of pacey forward. And alongside him, club record transfer, Mark Stewart, of course, formerly of Celtic. I'm hoping that Mark can have another good performance today, hopefully grab us a few goals. So anyway, let's submit our team going into today's game. We're taking on the Israeli side, Maccabi De Tel Aviv. Again... As I mentioned, hoping for a good performance here. In terms of team news, Gary, you might have noticed there, he's a little bit unhappy. He wants to move on. The biggest bid we've had for him is £400,000. And until we receive a bid at least, uh, you know, of a few million, I find it pretty difficult to kind of keep him in the side. Anyway, we've confused our team to hell with that team talk. Hopefully they can play well regardless. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on in this game. Of course, away from home, but we are playing our counter-attacking tactic. And I'm hoping that's going to work wonders for us. And with our kind of newly revamped front line, maybe we can get a few goals today. And we might have a chance here early on. Jackson, Stewart on ahead. Jackson here. Nice run to Putnam. Smith. Smith scores. The Australian. And, well, I didn't expect him to get a goal, but he's got a goal again today. Had a great performance in the first kind of qualifying phase we were involved in the second round here. Great counter-attacking goal. It was a set piece by Maccabi Tel Aviv. They threw men forward. Nice play here. Putnam with an assist. Really kind of intelligent pass. And then Smith, the winger. Nice little finish. Flicks it with the outside of his foot into that near corner. Keeper caught slightly out of position. And, well, he capitalised on that well. And that is the ideal start to this game. Getting that away goal could be very important in this tie. Tel Aviv, you know, very strong side. Got some very, very good players, of course. Um... But so far, so good in this game. They are having a fair few chances now, but we're still edging possession. And they're yet to have a replay chance. And, well, it's getting close to half time now. And I'll tell you now, I, could, I couldn't have asked for a better first half. I'm going to tell the players that was a good performance. Please know how things are going. They look pretty happy about that, as they should be. Scored that early goal. Going to be some pressure on Tel Aviv now to go and attack against us. And hopefully we can kind of capitalise on that. And uh, try and hit them on the break. We've got some superb uh, kind of pace in the final third. And I'm hoping we can use that. We are a very good counter-attacking team in that regard. We're built with some very, very pacey players. And I'm hoping that, you know, we can use that and break away against Maccabi Tel Aviv here. Anyway, they have a throw in. Could be a chance for them here. As we are caught a little bit short in the midfield. A big ball over the top. 
who might have a chance at Drosic, and it's actually Jay Marriott there, mistiming his tackle, giving away a penalty, and well, for how well we've played, that is a, a, a soft kind of chance to give them, I guess. Marriott lunging in there, a poorly timed tackle, uh, not even going to get booked for the tackle at least. Maybe the keeper can make a save for us. Penalty hit, penalty scored. Zahavi with the goal for Tel Aviv. Disappointing, 1-1 here. And you'd probably have to say, based off the stats alone, Tel Aviv deserve it. But the manner in which the goals come from a court, uh, well, from a penalty even, it's just a little bit tough to stomach, I guess. Marriott just with a poorly timed tackle really cost us there. I'm hoping he can bounce back from it. I'm going to make some changes here. I'm going to bring in Nicholas Mohamed. Bichard not had the greatest game of his career, so we'll make a change there. Uh, elsewhere, I don't think I want to change the team too much just yet. Um, I could take off Malloy, but or Malloy. I have still not. It's Malloy, Jack. It's Malloy. It is Malloy because he's South African. I'm going to keep him on. He's not playing particularly well yet. I mean, there is the option, I guess, to bring in Melvin Thomas. Maybe I should do that. I'm going to do it. Just because Malloy's not had the... Oh, Malloy. Malloy will get there eventually. This episode has to be called Malloy now. It just has to be. Um, but no, um, we, we, need a, we need a better performance than what we've shown so far. 1-1 one, one here, though. And, well, I would take 1-1. One, one. The away goal could be big. But if we could try and, you know, hold firm now at the back, that's the main thing, I think, at this point. You know, defend well. If we can hit them on the break, brilliant. And we might have a chance here. Ben Yu whips in the ball, headed away. Mohamed, though, with the ball, the sub. Can he make an impact? Medina, the centre-back. Out wide with Smith. Already scored one goal for us, Smith. Holding up the ball nicely. Ben Yu to Mohamed. Patient build-up play here. If we can make something here, that'd be amazing. Stewart putting them through. Putting them with a chance, and he misses it. And while he scored in the last game, the right back come right midfielder, he had a chance to score there and he squandered it and it's going to be cleared away. And well, if he leaves now after that, that's going to be disappointing. Although we might have a chance, Jackson can't quite get to the ball that was breaking away there. But that's disappointing. Only a few minutes left of this game. Looks like it is going to finish 1-1 in the first leg. Not a bad performance by any means, I think it's fair to say. Really kind of... Been pretty resilient here against Tel Aviv. We'll take the away kind of goal. We'll take the the draw. Hopefully, we can now go to uh, I guess the home tie and just give an equally impressive performance and hopefully you know maybe cause just a little bit of an upset. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up this kind of little segment. I'm going to go forward again. Of course, we've got a week to pass. No transfers going on at the moment, so I don't expect any new names to appear. And uh, hopefully. I guess we can make amends in the second leg for that chance that Putnam missed right at the end to put us 2-1 up. Okay, guys, so we are back here for the second leg against Maccabi Tel Aviv. We're at home. I'm hoping we can use that to our, adv our advantage. 1-1 well, in the first leg, not great, not terrible. It could be a lot worse. In terms of the team for today's game, I'm not going to be changing anything. Putnam, you'll notice he is still in the side. The move to Swindon has been confirmed now, uh, but I asked for it to be delayed by a week so that he can actually kind of play for us in today's game. So hopefully he can have kind of a final game to remember. The only change in the squad was actually bringing Ben Connolly onto the bench, and that was because Ignacio uh, got injured, our third choice keeper, and with him and also Juan Manuel Perez out injured, we don't have a third choice goalkeeper really to stick on the bench, so I thought we'd stick another attacker on. But with this team, I'm hoping we can have a good game today. If we could not give away a penalty, you know, that would be great. I feel like we're going to curse our luck on the fact that not only did we give away that penalty and obviously concede from it, but we had that chance late on with Putnam and we missed it. We squandered that opportunity. But we have a chance still in this game. You know, after that first leg, I'm feeling pretty optimistic going into this game. Home advantage will hopefully be in our favour. We're, of course, going to want to defend well early on in this game. It's going to be vital not to concede a goal that could, um, well, mean that we quickly lose our home uh, kind of advantage, but also the advantage we've built up from getting that away goal. Mark Stewart picked up a knock, a twisted ankle. That's a long-term injury if I don't sub him off. It could be long-term anyway. I'm going to take him off, but I'm going to let this chance play out here. It's Smith, Bouchard, the Canadian. Stewart on the sideline. Okay, he's not even on the pitch for this. We're down a man. Putnam, though. Jackson! Jackson puts it narrowly wide. A real opportunity there. Uh, we'll bring on Kuka. It's a shame that Mark Stewart, our kind of record signing, has twisted his ankle there. Hopefully nothing too long-term, although twisted ankles, that's usually a few weeks at least. But we'll see what we can do here. Tel Aviv on the attack now. We need to defend. Ball in the area, cleared away. But Paul Smith gives away a penalty. And for the second game in a row, 
We gift Tel Aviv a chance. Paul Smith this time, a different left-hand sided player. Not the full-back Marriott this time. Instead the winger tracking back and giving it away. And now all eyes are on to Harvey to finish this. And he will finish it. He makes it 2-1 here. And while that's an important goal for Tel Aviv, and it's a bad goal for us to concede if we're honest... Part of me wants to switch to the 4-4-2 attack. So far in this game, after 20 minutes, we've probably... Well, we've not been outclassed, certainly, but dare I utter the words, we've been the better team. I dare. I'm, I'm uttering them. We've been the better team. I'm hoping that this change here, you know, go more attacking, could help us. We are going to need two goals now, unless we don't concede again and score one, in which case it'll go to extra time. The ball whipped in there. Jackson with the goal. Sean Jackson, the American. Second goal of the season for him. An insane ball by Putnam. Into the box, of course, playing his last game here. And, well, it's 1-1 on the night now. And if things were to stay as they are, it would go to extra time. But we're going to stay on attacking. We're going to go for it now. You know, that's a good early goal to get. But we need to build on that if we can. And we'll, with half an hour gone, we've been the better team. And we have a chance here. Putnam, Evans, whipping it in. Options in the middle. Cleared away. Bonus as far as Marriott. Bouchard, back with Evans. Ball in. Kuka's there. The sub. He makes an impact, and in fact, it's been given as an own goal to Elena. I'm not going to complain one little bit, though. It's a second goal of the game for us, and it's a good goal at that. Evans whipping it in the fullback, and Kuka, well, Kuka forces the error. The defender has to make a challenge there, and unfortunately for him, in making the challenge, the ball has ended up in the back of the Tel Aviv net. But anyway, another chance here. 2-1 up, though. Good position to be in. Of course, a goal here. Suddenly, Tel Aviv need two. We are on the attack as well. Putnam... Evans on the overlap, Bouchard out with Evans, nice play here, Putnam, Bouchard, lovely play, Evans whips it in, Jackson heads it in, and it's offside, it's been given offside, I can't celebrate it, it's been given as a foul, but that would have been an insane passing goal there to make it 3-1, Linesman gave the foul though on the defender, Jackson the, the, the guilty party, and well, he spared the blushes of the Tel Aviv defender there, because it was about to be another own goal I believe. Anyway, I'm going to tell the players that we've had a great first half there. 2-1 up, couldn't ask for a better performance. I am going to say, you know, there's more to come from them. I want to demand as much from this team as I can. But we're 3-2 up on aggregate. Of course, we can't really take this position for granted because just conceding one goal would leave us going out of the competition on away goals. So we've got to continue to attack. And, well, I want us to kind of hopefully maintain the performance we played put in in the first half there because we were the better team. And we might have a chance here. Bouchard whips in. Putnam also almost there. But it's now with uh, Maloey. Now with Bouchard. Don't give away the ball there. We cannot afford to be hit on the counter. Evans, big ball up. Kuka can't get there. But with Putnam, the player on his way out. Can he have an impact? He's already had a bit of an impact here. We have a chance. Ball whipped in. Smith, back post, cleared away. But Marriott with the ball now. This is some sustained pressure we're having. And Benyu up to Kuka. Cleared away. But Benyu again. And now Marriott, free cross. Gets it in. Kuka's there. Back post. Makes it 3-1. Ian Kuka, the Canadian. Not going to be much of a first choice striker, I don't think, this year. But if we can have him as a third choice striker who comes on and gets goals as important as the goals he's been involved in today, then I'm not going to complain one little bit. It's 3-1 here. A great performance here against Tel Aviv, although we've conceded that penalty and now they have a set piece. Headed away though, now Bouchard. Up to Kuka. Kuka. Jackson is away and Jackson has pace. Can he make something magical happen? Narrow angle. Might have to try and cross it in here if he can. Out to Marriott. Ball whipped in Putnam. And Putnam squeezes it in. George Putnam, he might be leaving the club. But he's probably going to be leaving us on a high as it's now 4-1 here on the night. What a second half performance this has been. Marriott gave away a penalty in the first leg. He's made up for it there with that assist. The keeper, questionable save. But Putnam's not going to complain. The keeper... Could only parry that into the near post. And, well, it's been a good performance. It's been a very good performance. Obviously, we could still... I can't say we could still lose this now. It's now 4-2. Away goals, of course, still a factor. Part of me wants to go on to defensive. The other part of me says, Jack, stay on attacking. Your team's played better on attacking since we made that change. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maintain the attacking kind of mentality, I think, here. But with half an hour left, we do need to make sure we are firm at the back. I think it's fair to say our fullbacks have had great games. Danny Evans at right back, Marriott at left back. Three assists between them. One more goal, and I'm happy to say it's game over in our favour. If we concede, well, with 15 minutes left here, it's going to be a little bit kind of squeaky bum time. I've uh, got an option to make a change. I don't know if I want to make a change. Everyone's performing quite well. 
I don't think I do. I mean, Paul Smith debatably at left mid, but I've not got a left mid to bring on. I think we're just going to stick with what we know and stick with the team we've got. No one's really struggling for fitness. No one performing badly. I don't see a need to change it. And Putnam here. Evans whips it in. Smith! And that was a chance to make it 5-2 and to make it game over. Kicks it straight at the keeper, Hansen, however. But, I mean, things, things are looking pretty good here. 11 minutes left. I say that. There's now another chance. If they score... 10 minutes of squeaky bum time will commence. But we are bringing the ball forward here. Smith, the Australian, on a yellow card. Hopefully he won't get sent off. That's got to be uh, the dream. We have an issue with discipline, I feel like. And we might have an issue here. It's 4-3. So Harvey's got another. Oh, dear. Do I just... Do I go to contain? Do I go defend? Do I go counter? Oh, yeah, I guess I do. I guess I do. Let's make this change. We're going to switch to our counter system. Just going to play as defensive as possible. You know, drop a few midfielders back. Play our counter system. We've got half an hour to... Well, half an hour. Ten minutes, sorry, to kill off here. We're going to play on contain as well. Just park the bus. Just park it. Three minutes left. Time ticking away. That's going to be all she wrote. I thought we'd won this a lot sooner than we actually had. Squeaky bum time did commence at the end, but it looks like a huge performance has come out here. We're going to win 4-3 on the night, 5-4 on aggregate. What a performance that was. Putnam, if that's his last game at the club, it's one to remember. A goal and an assist for him. And that sees us beat Tel Aviv here. 4-3 on the night, 5-2 on aggregate, and we do go into the Champions League third qualifying round. And, well... I knew Stuart was going to be out for a while. He's out for four to five weeks, unfortunately, for us. Um, that's a shame. I am going to go forward and just we'll watch the draw here. This is going to be for the playoff stage, of course. This is the last stage, well, before the group stage, dare I utter it. We've got to this position before, it's worth noting. I'd like a nice, kind, easy draw if possible. That's got to be the dream. We did set a record for gate receipts there, receiving £55,000. Great turnout by the fans. Good to see us making that much money. We are starting to sell out the Victoria Stadium here in Gibraltar. We've had a few bids for Gary, but they're just not acceptable. £70,000 for one of my best players. Like, jog on, really. No chance he's going at that price. Anyway, let's see how we get it on here. In terms of the teams in this draw, we've beaten a few of them. We've beaten Copenhagen. I don't want Zagreb or Basel. I don't really want Stal Bucharest either. I'd take Victoria plus Chen. I guess I'd take Basel maybe. I mean, their, their seed is lower. I mean, in an ideal world, we'd get put against an unseeded team, but I don't think that's how this works. But we'll put it on automatic draw. This is the game I want, really. We're not going to get it. Maribor, a team who we've beaten before there. We are drawn at home against... Well, it's going to be against Zagreb again. We played them two years ago, if I remember correctly. Or was it last year? Well, we're... we're Welcoming back a familiar foe, I think it's fair to say. Of course, last year we actually we got knocked out in the Champions League qualifying stages. Uh, the year before that, it was the playoff defeat against Zagreb 3-1. Could be an easier draw. That's going to be such a tough tie for us. But we're going to have to give it our all. We'll see how we get on. Uh, obviously, our squad's a lot better than it was last time we played them. We've gone pro since then, so maybe we can make something happen. But it is going to be an uphill task. Particularly, of course, without our record transfer, Mark Stewart, in the side. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up this episode from me. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time for the playoffs. It's going to be a big game for us, but I'm hoping the players can step up to the occasion. And uh, yeah, that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. If you've enjoyed, smash the like button. Hopefully, I'll see you guys for the playoff stage. And other than that, it is me, Jack. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.